Okay, so what we are going to see today is this proof that this proof that log n factorial is in theta of n log n. This this idea that log n factorial is in theta of n log n comes very often uh, in algorithms. Okay, and uh, a lot of uh, students want to know that how how did it come and. Uh, it gets a little confusing because one side is easier to prove and the other side is uh, slightly difficult so uh, let's see how we can prove this thing so the first thing just a quick revision of this theta o and omega just a quick revision so when do we say that f n is in theta of you know let's say g n when do we say that uh, uh, this mean when we we say this when we can prove two things when when we can prove that f n is in o of g n uh, as well as omega of g n all right when we can prove both of these things we can prove that f n is in theta of g n okay because it gives the it sort of gives the upper limit and it gives the lower limit and that's what theta is and how what is this thing how do you prove this part is simple you have fn if you can show that fn is less than some constant c into gn okay for sufficiently large n okay then if you can show that if you can show this then you approve o of gn and for this part no, it's quite simple. You just need to do the opposite way. Okay, so in this part, you have to show that f n is in, is greater than or equal to uh, c of g n for sufficiently large n. Okay, so if you can do these two parts, you have done o g n and omega g n and then your theta g n. Okay, so we'll do them one by one and we'll we'll see that how we can do. O G N part and omega G N part and we'll see that this one is easier okay so this thing is easier and yeah, this one almost everyone can do this part and this part is a little bit tricky so we'll do both of them okay so we come to proving the first part of this thing so wh what should be our first part so let's say part one will be to show that log n factorial is in o of n log n okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write log n factorial is equal to nothing but log one into two into three up to so on into n minus one into n and that's where my bracket is closed so this is n factorial so I've written it like this and then I'm going to apply the property of log that log into product of some things becomes log of the first term plus log of the second term plus log of the third term right like that so this becomes log 1 plus log 2 plus log 3 and so on up till log n okay and then what I can do so look at these individual terms okay this thing is log 1 this is definitely less than log n okay this this thing is definitely less than log n similarly this thing is definitely less than uh, equal to log n okay and the same applies for all of these okay and and this thing too this thing is also less than or equal to log of n so for all of these i can apply these so when i write list like this okay so this e this thing this equal to has been replaced with less than or equal to and i can write log n plus log n okay i've replaced all these logs uh, with log n and so on up till my last log n okay i can do this and then uh, you know finally i can add all these up okay i add all these up and then my log n factorial becomes less than or equal to these are n okay I have n log n's I'm adding n log n so I have n log n so that is what I get out of this okay 
and in this case if you remember the definition of OCN my constant is just one okay so from here I can say that I have proved this part okay now I, I can I can like for sure say that my log n factorial is in O of n log n so this thing is done and then we'll come to the second part which I told you was slightly more tricky okay so let's come to that part so the part 2 is to prove that log n factorial is in omega of n log n okay so let's try to do this part okay so I mean you can try it yourself it takes a lot of time you spend a lot of time and you know it's hard to come up with something but what you have to look for in this case is not n factorial but the square of n factorial okay so what is the square of n factorial so I can write this like this n factorial into n factorial okay I can write it like this and then I have this equal to thing so now what I will do is I'll write n factorial first like this so uh, this is my n okay and then I have some into and then I have n minus 1 okay so I'm writing this n factorial in magenta okay and then I have n minus 2 okay so this is n minus 1 this is n minus 2 okay and into and this goes on and into finally I have 1 okay this is fine what about the other n factorial because this is this n factorial and I have to write this n factorial in blue as well so this one I will write in the reverse way so I'll start with 1 and 1 into 2 into 3 and so on so this one I will write like this n into 1 okay and then out here n minus 1 into this is 2 okay so you are seeing this 1 2 coming up there uh, into 3 like this okay up till final is n so this way I write these two n, uh, n factorials okay and this is quite interesting because then what you can do is you can write this whole thing as a product okay what is the product thing that I get here I can write this pi thing so this pi is a product of uh, you can say n minus k plus 1 into k and k is from 1 to n okay so this is the the expression that you have to multiply for k is equal to 1 into for k is equal to 2 and so on and you will get this so I've written this in this concise form that's what it is okay you can see that this is actually true so if you have k is equal to 1 you get this n and into this one if you have k is equal to 2 you get this n minus 1 okay this thing becomes n minus 1 and this is 2 if you put k is equal to 3 yeah, this k is this 3 and this n minus k plus 1 is this n minus 2 okay so now since you can write it like this let me expand it a little bit okay let me write it a little bit like in an expanded form k is equal to n okay so I'm opening these brackets so this becomes minus k square plus n k plus k okay so this is my n factorial square all right now let's focus on this part okay let's focus on this part what is this this is a quadratic expression all right this is a quadratic expression you can see that this is in a square of k it's a quadratic expression in k so what I can say let's this part be fk so my fk is nothing but minus k square plus nk plus k okay and for your quadratic expression you can have a minimum value and a maximum value okay because it's a it's it's I have written this as a function of k and I know that k varies from 1 to n okay so k k varies from 
1 to n so I shouldn't forget this thing it's not from minus infinity to plus infinity which you usually have in your quadratic expressions or quadratic equations and so in this case if you if you try to draw a curve of this thing okay if you try to draw it on an xy plane and suppose this is your this is your axis with k okay this axis is k and this axis is fk up there and suppose this is 1 k is equal to 1 and this is k is equal to n and you can you can take the derivative and do all those things which is uh, basically you get a parabola it's a, it's high school math stuff so i'm not going into the details of this thing but what you get is something like this okay and this is for k is equal to n okay it is just thing that this ends here okay and you get your max here so what you know is that this is this is where you get your max okay and where do you get your min so this is where you get your minimum value okay so this fk thing this quadratic expression has a maximum value at this point which is the midpoint of this one and n and it has a minimum value at this point and this point you can do it and you will get this thing so for k is equal to 1 you know that this expression has a minimum and which is also equal to uh, the value of the expression at k is equal to n so for k is equal to 1 and for k is equal to n you get the minimum so with that thing in mind I'll, I'll rub the board and we'll see how we can proceed okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub this part and this part okay yeah. this is gone alright so now what you can do uh, you have this thing which is basically your log n factorial okay and this thing has a minimum of wh when do we have this minimum okay so what you can say is your minimum is this your fk is minimum when is it minimum when k is 1 so let's put k is equal to 1 so that is minus 1 square plus n into 1 plus 1 which is n so the minimum value of fk is n all right and okay just let me mark this thing outside so that it doesn't get confusing okay so this is your minimum so far and then what you can say is that your so this is your expression for log n factorial okay and inside this you have this thing called fk so what did you get from the previous part that your log n factorial was nothing but this product k is equal to 1 to n and out here you had fk okay so this part was fk so now you know what is the minimum value of fk so this thing this log n factorial has to be greater than it has to be greater than what when you replace the minimum value of fk because you are replacing it with the minimum value so this is what you can do okay and replace it with the minimum and then it's it gets really simple after that okay sorry no 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 this wasn't uh, log n factorial this was n factorial square I'm sorry about that this was n factorial square that we were talking about okay I'm sorry and so now you know that n factorial has to be greater than this thing or what else you can say so n factorial has to be greater than or equal to you can replace the value of fkm min which is this n has to be this product from k is equal to 1 to n n okay so what are you doing out here what you are doing is you are multiplying this n n times n into n into n up to n times so n multiplied n times which will give you n factorial square is greater than or equal to n raised to n okay and if you go ahead and if you take log on both sides okay if you take log on both sides what do you get 
2 log n factorial is greater than n log n all right or if you want to simplify it further you get log n factorial is greater than or equal to 1 by 2 of n log n okay so now this is your constant out here 1 by 2 and this thing proves this omega part okay now you know that your log n factorial is in omega of n log n as well because you have we have come up with this thing that log n factorial is greater than some constant into n log n and for sufficiently large n that you can always say in this case so that's it so you have proven part one you have proven the o part and the omega part which basically proves this theta part and that's the proof